So apparently in the year 2019, saying, hey guys, is equivalent to uppercutting the Pope. You think I'm kidding, but I came across this video on Twitter, and it's gonna explain to all of us why, you know, apparently if you're saying, hey guys, you might as well just be on your hands and knees worshipping Satan. For decades, we have set a standard of only addressing the men in the room. Of course we claim it's colloquial, but with our elevated knowledge and inclusive perspective, it just seems lazy. Yup, you heard it here first, folks. With our newly found elevated knowledge, we now have the ability to be offended by literally everything on the earth. Actually, next, I think we should get offended by the earth. But you know, let's let that one slide. Maybe they have something really profound to say. Maybe this woman right here is the next Stephen Hawking. Because, you know, clearly she has this elevated knowledge that nobody else has. How is one to feel empowered to speak or assert themselves when upon greeting, they're misgendered or even ignored in language? Can we be surprised that for decades, women often felt uncomfortable asserting their voice when we didn't even take the time to properly acknowledge them? Okay, I need you to do a simple favor real quick, all right? Can you look down at your feet and tell me whether or not you have massive clown shoes on? Because odds are, this woman is Ronald McDonald in disguise. You're telling me women don't feel empowered solely because of the fact that someone walked in the room and said, hey guys, straight up, you got a presidential speech ready, you're ready to go, you're all confident, and somebody walks in, oh, hey guys, and in a matter of seconds, you're either punching air or in tears. If you're offended that easily, please reconsider your priorities in life. These linguistic tendencies were developed and reinforced in eras where women were barely meant to be seen and certainly not heard. Please note, you're not a bad feminist if you're comfortable with using the phrase, guys. Let's go! You heard it here first. Relex is not a bad feminist. Because for a second, this video had me thinking I was Adolf Hitler. But in fact, your boy Relex is not a bad feminist. There are larger issues that we, the feminists, need to combat. Reproductive rights, rape culture, violence against women, LGBTQ rights, and the general reprogramming of most people's minds when it comes to the valuation of women in society. Now wait a jiffy there, buckaroo. Did you just say general reprogramming of people's minds? There is no context where that's okay to say. She flat out just said we need to brainwash people into believing saying hey guys is wrong. I if you're gonna make a video this stupid, at least think of proper terminology to use. Don't say stuff like reprogramming people's minds. Cause now you just sound like a Russian spy, buddy. I'm not offended, per se, if someone lumps me in with the guys. I'm sure there's really no malintent. In fact, if you and your friends want to freely address each other, by all means. I just want you to know that you're one small step away from making a more conscious effort to dismantle the patriarchy. Don't believe me? Try walking into a room full of cisgender heterosexual men and triumphantly announce, hey gals, okay girls, thanks sis. First of all, nobody walks in a room and triumphantly announces, hey guys. You walk in a room, you're like, hey guys, what's up? It's not, hey guys. And if you walked into a room of guys and said, hey sis, you would just get a few weird looks. What do you think is going to happen? Somebody's going to walk up and Mayweather you to the John line? Nobody cares. Substitute one hey guys with a simple, good morning everyone. Hi y'all, folks, everybody, scholars. Team if you're at work, campers if you're in the forest, bay hive because it's always appropriate. Okay, if somebody walks up to me and says, hey y'all, first of all, we're throwing hands. And second of all, I didn't realize we were in the wild, wild west. We're in the office gym, not a rodeo. And actually, scholars is even worse. If you're anybody but my math teacher and you call me scholar, you better have the dentist on speed dial because teeth are flying, buddy. Somewhere along the way, hey, you may slip a guy out or two, but thank you in advance for trying. You can say that all of this is silly or too PC, but there are always larger societal implications of language, the way we use it and weaponize it. Face it, the things we do and say matter. So if you do nothing else, repeat after me. I am powerful. Okay, when did this become your motivational TED talk? Okay, so never say hey guys ever again or I'll punch you in the lips. But you know, if that's too hard, at least recite after me. I am Batman. Anyways, that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. If you scholars enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at Subderelex. Or you know what? Odds are you're going to wake up tomorrow and you're going to be a feminist. That's right. You're going to wake up in the morning tomorrow. Look in the mirror. You're going to have a name tag on that says Karen and you're going to be a feminist. And you're going to speak to every manager in town. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video.
I'm out. Universe is expanding. Gotta give a fuck. I'm drinking all day. All the dreams I have are in color. Even though my memories are all frame. And the whole damn world is burning. But you never know. Because you're too busy staring at your phone. Only way that I can feel happiness is when I'm by myself standing here alone. Just me till the casket drops. To the casket drops. Just me till the casket drops. To the casket drops. Just me till the casket drops. To the motherfucking casket drops. Just me till the casket drops.